Now I can export that data to Excel. And I've provided uh, two kind of recipes, one that goes to Excel and then one that goes to CSV. And again, I, I've come across a lot of people where there are issues with Excel and Dynamo and the relationship between the two. So if you have issues with Excel and you can't either read uh, or write to Excel, I totally recommend using the CSV node. Um, both of these, I'll show you, they're actually really easy to find. Um, for the Excel nodes, you just go to the Office library, and then there's read from file, write to file. And the CSV, I'm just going to go to core file, which is down here at the bottom, and then CSV, and then I can read from file, write to file. So they're both actually really good. Um, so that works out well. So now I have, let's say I want to output you know, my list of rooms. I'm going to take the create list in format output, and then I'm going to plug it into here where it says data. So I have Excel write to file. And what I have to do is I have to provide a file path. So I just select, uh, let's test data here. So I'm just you know giving that file a name. Um, I have the sheet name in Excel that I want to write to. So I'm just going to call it sheet one. The start row and the start column, I have these set in my code block as zero. Again, I can specify though whatever I want. Uh, then I plug in my data, which is coming from my list.create and list.transpose. And last, I have a, this is a Boolean value called overwrite. So Boolean is a true-false. And what I'm doing is I'm saying that I want to overwrite that data uh, that exists. If there's any existing data in the Excel file, I'm going to overwrite it. So I'm going to click Run. And what's going to happen is it's actually going to open up Excel as it's writing the data out. So another good opportunity to take a drink. Uh, so a couple questions, actually it was pretty quick. So here is that data that I output in Excel right here. So this is just a dump. This data is not live, so I can make changes to here if I wanted to. Um, you know, per, per, some of this stuff I can, you know, I can drive. Area is going to be determined by the walls, so I can't really push this area back and have the model flex. Um, but I could go through and I could change kind of the numbers. Um, I could change the level, but that operation, I'd have to get the level object to switch it up, but it, it's possible. Um, but this gives me a good dump of that data right out to Excel. I could do the same thing here too with CSV file, and that's going to create you know a text-based CSV file. So all I have to do to get the data out is kind of put it together into a list and then connect it to the data part of either Excel write to file or CSV write to file. So real easy to do that. 